Hey everyone, I'm OGG and coming at you today from Older Guy Gaming with easily the best tip, the best tool in the entire game of Elden Ring. What is it? Stay tuned to find out. Now I decided a little while ago that Elden Ring is definitely going to become one of my favorite games, but boy oh boy is it challenging. And I'm not even talking in the Dark Souls style combat, I'm talking about the fact that it is a completely open world game and 100% non-linear, meaning that you can go and take on the last boss in the entire game on your first run if you wanted to and if you had the skill and ability to actually get there. There's no progression where you have to defeat this guy, then defeat this guy, then defeat this guy. That said, there's also no real progression as far as quests and items and armor sets and different things as well. It's kind of an exploration game where you have to kind of run out and find these things yourself. Now, some people are being very helpful and creating YouTube videos which show you how to get this item or how to get to this location but I find most of them very, very convoluted and difficult to follow and very, very fast. So I thought, hey, wouldn't it be great to put a map up behind my computer monitors, you know, buy it from Amazon or Etsy or something, so I could have a physical reference when I was actually traveling through the game world. Didn't really find anything I liked and realistically, even printing off an online map is gonna have severe limitations and be really annoying if you wanna do the multi-print thing. Not worth it. But as I was searching for a decent map, I came across this. Now what makes this map special is this is from mapgenie.io and I will put a direct link down in the uh, description below. While you're down there, by the way, I'd really appreciate if you'd hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button. It helps the YouTube algorithm to find my videos and to share them with a broader audience. And trust me, this tip is worth sharing with a broader audience. Now, if you really find a lot of value in this latest tip, there is a tip button below. Uh, if you wanna buy me a coffee or a beer, a luxury yacht, that's the place you would do it. But without further ado, let me show you the reason that you came to this video today. Now, mapgenie.io creates interactive maps. Interactive in the sense that you can zoom. Look at that, you can zoom right in. You can go to different areas that are not on the standard map. For example, underground like Ainsel River and Deep Root Depths, right? So you can see the entire map and you can zoom in to fantastic detail. Look at that. You can plan your route through the castle, through the places you need to go and see everything you need to do. Invaluable by itself, but trust me people, it gets better. It gets so much better because having the map is fine. That is one thing. But if we push this little button right over here, this brings up the true power of the interactive map. Now, we can pick a region we want to look at. Say, for example, I want to just focus on Limgrave today. Maybe I want to focus on Ainsel River or Caleb, right? This gives us the ability, I mean, you can do it with the uh, scroll wheel as well, but this gives us the ability to really focus on where we want to do our adventuring. Now, if we go down a little further, you'll see that we have locations, key items, items, equipment, NPCs, enemies, materials, and other. Now, all told, if we were to click that show all button, uh, <laughs> a little bit overwhelming, I would say. Uh, uh, information overload. I mean, just look at the first area. This is your starting location. Look at all the different possibilities for fun just in this simple location. So. I would say clicking show all is not the best idea, but let's take a look at the starting area first. Are there any landmarks? Yes, there is. There's the Church of Ella. Are there any portals? No, no portals right in this area. Are there any sites of grace? Look at that. I know exactly where all of the sites of grace are, and I can also click them to get a picture and to get a little bit more information on them, right? incredibly handy you can get the the ever gowls or jail jails i don't know how you pronounce that the dungeons uh the divine towers anything you need if we go to key items wow i really want to start uh, opening up some of those little statue guys so i need some stone sword keys there you go there's three right in this map there's tons of them everywhere what if i wanted to get a cookbook there we go there's a whole bunch of cookbooks what if i need ammunition 
I need arrows. We can get Kukuris, Kukris there. We can get Trina's arrows there. We can get Kukris there, bolts, etc. What if I want to get a sacred tier? There you go. There's your sacred tier locations. What if I want a dragon heart? There's some dragon heart locations. Now it gets even better. Armor. Well, I I'm just starting out, but I've got some runes. I want that chain set. I get that right here. Click it and it'll tell me how much I need to buy it. Right? Over here we've got the bandit mask. So this is sold by the nomadic merchant for 1500 runes. The imp head. This one is located on a body. This one, we have to defeat Godskin Apostle to get this armor set, etc. So we can get armor sets, we can get different weapons, we can get different shields. This is going to give us the locations of all these items. It's going to give us character locations, merchant locations, trainer locations, bosses, invasions, enemies in general, great bosses. What a fantastic tool. Glove work for making your uh, summons stronger. Smithing stones for making your weapons stronger. Rune fragments for making you stronger, etc. We have got so many options in this single map that change the complexion of the entire game. What an amazing tool. Now, you can take it one step further. If we click over on the right side here, we do have a progress tracker where as we find locations, so let's say that uh, smithing stone. So I'm gonna go down here. So I know that this smithing stone is in that location. So I'm gonna click found. And now it's gonna show up over here in my found locations. So it's gonna show, it's slightly grayed out, so it doesn't look like the rest of them, but it's gonna show that I've already found that. So I'm not going to go there by accident again, hoping to find something that's not there. This actually tracks your progress. You can actually even add notes to these areas. For example, there is one area where there's a very tough boss. And if you try to cross the bridge, um, with him on it in the nighttime, you will die. If you try to cross the bridge in the daytime, he's not there. Easy peasy, right? So you could leave yourself a little note at that area so that if you come back with a different character, you won't forget. You can also leave the, I mean, you can leave little dots all over the map with notes and with uh, locations. However, you are limited to 100. If you do want to do more than that, you can upgrade to pro. And personally, I think this is crazy worth it. I'm not affiliated with um, Map Genie in any way, shape, or form. I'm only sharing this with you because I think it's a, a hell of a value. So if you do want to track your unlimited collectibles, unlimited custom locations, and go 100% ad-free, $4.99, not per month, not per year, just $4.99, and you've got the full upgraded map. Unbelievable. What a fantastic tool. I, I can't state enough just what a boon this is for older guys like me that as much as i appreciate the non-linear aspect of the gameplay it is so nice to be able to say okay let's take a look at some quests i want to do box quest so i click box quest it's going to tell me what the entire quest is what i need to do it where i need to go to get it and what i'm going to get when i complete it unbelievable and then once i've completed it i click found and as you can see, it grays out that area. <laughs> Wherever it is, I don't know. Oh, there it is. It grays out that area. So when I see it, I can go, oh, okay, I've already been there. So I've already done it. If, I if I've been there and failed miserably, come back again later, I might want to drop a note there saying, come back after level whatever. But as you can see, the Elden Ring interactive map is probably, like I said, the number one tool in my arsenal when it comes to playing this game. Now I can put it over on my second monitor. I can zoom into the key points I need to. I can see exactly where I need to go and then I can track my progress as I go. Am I going to pay the five bucks? Hell yes. Like I said, I do consider that to be a worthwhile cost and I want to support these guys. This is the best freaking map I've ever seen and I want to do whatever I can for them. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think of this tool. Are you already using it? Am I slow to the game? Do you think that the other guys that are making those how-to videos are using the same tool to do so? 
let me know in the comments below. Like I said, while you're down there, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, maybe even drop a coffee on a guy, and we will see you in the next video.